Within the gossamer light of a solar eclipse, Gonzalez and Richards recognized a fascinating connection between the factors necessary for complex life and scientific observation. But was this merely an isolated fluke of nature or a glimpse at a principle and a purpose fundamental to the universe as a whole? That was the million dollar question that we continually had before us. What if those things that make a planet habitable also make that planet the best place for making scientific discoveries? That is, what if those rare locations in the universe uh, that are compatible with observers like ourselves are also the best places overall for making observations? For three years, Richards and Gonzalez meticulously tested their idea against evidence gathered from a wide range of scientific disciplines. In the 2004 book, The Privileged Planet, they published their hypothesis. The same narrow circumstances that allow us to exist also provide us with the best overall setting for making scientific discoveries. In the book, we detail more than a dozen examples of this correlation between life and discovery. And these aren't quirky, marginal examples. Each treats a condition critical to its respective scientific field. Some deal with remote things, like the nature of galaxies. Others are much closer to home.